So this is the support material that um, Skeenforge is generating, um, printed with my Maker Gear Stepper Extruder. Um, so you can see it's actually pretty solid under compression, um, and it does a really good job holding up the model. Um, but it's actually made up of a lattice of very thin threads, um, and I think I printed these using a flow rate that's about 75% of what I usually use. So the plastic threads are thin and they're not very strongly um, stuck together. So if you give it a twist, for example, you can just hear it just starts to rip. It just comes apart very easily. It kind of tears, see? So it's actually very easy to remove. You can just kind of pry it apart off your model. Um, if you I have a knife here. Um, you can see if you're actually um, you know, cutting through the top, it's actually pretty solid because you've got that whole lattice there in the way. If you're cutting it along the edge, though, you know, the knife just goes straight through it. But it's like you know, it's almost like cutting butter. Maybe you know, maybe refrigerated butter, but still butter. And so my strategy was actually to just make a few cuts like this through the bricks of support material. And then to just pry them apart like that, and they just kind of tear right off the model. And this model was pretty easy to clean up that way. I didn't have to spend much time with the X-Acto knife on it afterwards. I mean, I probably could clean it up a bit more, but I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out. Um, yeah, in this particular model, actually, the um, the neck and the ankles were thin enough that I ended up um, <laughs> taking off poor Yoshi's head and I think his left foot while I was taking off the sports. But a little hot glue and he's good as new. So there it is, uh, Skinforge uh, support material with a Maker Gear Stepper extruder.